We had some uh, hearings in the Senate, and um, uh, just because, I, mean, I don't know how relevant this is, but just because it just sounds so great, let's hear uh, Lindsey Graham get uh, smacked down by a, uh, a chief of police, this uh, police of officer Milwaukee. of he, Milwaukee. He should, be a new, he should run for office be a new rock star. He just yeah. destroyed him. He used to be in Springfield, Mass. Actually, oh, he was from Springfield, Mass. Uh, I think he's so, in Milwaukee now, but he's yeah, the dregs of Massachusetts. With all due respect, he, Mike. he that guy rocks. And yeah. all right, so let's hear this exchange uh, with uh, Lindsey Graham and uh, this police officer. The law obviously is not seen that as important. If it, if it's such a uh, an important issue, why aren't we prosecuting people who fail a background check? And there are fifteen questions there. They're not hard to understand if you're filling out the form. So I'm a bit frustrated that we say one thing, how important it is, but in the real world, we absolutely do nothing to enforce the laws on the books. Now, let's talk... Uh, I mean, you know, just for the record, from my point of view, Senator, the purpose how of the many background cases check... Have you made, how many cases uh, you know what, have you made? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's a paper thing. Well, I, want it, st- I want to stop 76... I want to finish the answer. Well, no, I'm a, I want to stop 76,000 people from buying guns illegally. That's what a background check I'm does. AR-15 if you think we're going to do paperwork it. prosecutions, she, you're, you're wrong. How many... All right. If you, if, how many cases Senator, have... Senator, if you would withhold just for a moment. Yeah. Please. That's fine. No expressions one way or another, and let's keep this civil. Senator Graham and I just got (laughs) recognized for civility, so I know he'll keep it civil. But but being civil and being firm in your convictions are not inconsistent, are they? I admire what you do. I think every cop deserves... Everything All right, we don't need to hear any more of his uh, groveling at that point now that, he's been, now that he's been punished. Um, but uh, so uh, here is Lindsey Graham trying to make the case that the police officers should be essentially tracking down people who fail a, um, a background check. Well, that's the whole point of a background check is just to make sure they don't get a gun. I mean, where to start, where to finish here. First of all, in Lindsey Graham's defense, he hasn't gone rug shopping in Iraq for a while. Right. Um, and he got some of those great three-for-one deals that he bragged about, you know, and, and when it was all safe over there, when he, all the security went in there. So I understand. He relaxes by rug shop, shopping. And uh, it's been tough. I mean, he's such a patently ridiculous character, I'll say it quickly. I can't wait. I love it. I mean, this guy obviously didn't, hasn't taken the time to look at what happened to Dick Luger and other people that were more conservative on other issues than him. Like, if he thinks he's preventing himself from, from a teabagger from, dis- from running from his right and, and slamming him as if that will ever happen, I just can't wait till he gets his ass handed to him in, in 2014 from the right. But that, that, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. In terms of what he was saying, I mean, again, that's what the police chief, it's so refreshing because often these guys sit there and you, you have these, 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 you know, bullies who literally are just putting on a show for the cameras who think they can just sit there and say whatever they want. And they normally get away with it. And the point he was making, as you just said, Sam, is 70,000 people are stopped from buying guns right. who, who are criminals or are mentally ill. That's the point of the system. For, in addition to that, his 44 number is a joke and way off. That 44 number, I think, is if I'm remembering correctly, was just from like one place. I think it was just from the city of Chicago. And they've taken that and they've turned it into that's the national number. It's not. It's a much higher number who actually were prosecuted afterwards. And his general point that more of them should be prosecuted, I would agree with. But that doesn't mean that that, uh, that uh, these guys weren't doing the first part. Right. We have our, this, our, the, our police departments make these type of decisions all the time. What is going to be the biggest threat? Where is our biggest bang for buck in terms of enforcement? I mean, that's the way they yeah, do guess it. Guess who's cutting their resources? Right. Lindsey Graham is. So right. he, can, he can allow tax cuts for his rich friends who finance his campaign. If they would do what they what were required in this country and give the, the police departments the budgets, first responders or the budgets they ask for, then maybe they could follow up on some of the stuff that Lindsey Graham cares about. And frankly, I think would be good, too, which is to prosecute people who, who try to buy gun, guns illegally. But with that said, the most important thing that a gun check does is it stops the person from getting the gun. Right. And as the, as the police chief made, the point he made in Milwaukee alone, they made 2,000 of those cases where they, went, where they prosecute people uh, who, you know, uh, based upon that. So, so that, that's what's important for using guns illegally or getting them illegally. And that, and that is what we're trying to stop here. That is what a background check will do. This is an NRA talking point. It's not even true. And that Lindsey Graham would do that. I mean, uh, it's just so nice to see somebody stand up 
to him as as he sort of prostates himself before the right to try to to try to somehow stop the inevitable challenge that's coming his way in 2014. Yeah, and then and the, the next part, of course, uh, y- your point is well taken, because Graham then goes on to say that budgets will be cut, so people may need to protect themselves at that point. <clears throat> so, all right, but... Budgets will be one... cut. I love how the agency is taken away there. Who will be cutting those budgets? Right, exactly. Yeah, g- g- uh, well, of course, uh, Bob Woodward says that it was uh, President Obama. Now, uh, right. now Bob, I think it's Bob Woodward and Gene Sperling's fault myself.